We are constituents at Congressman Norma Torres' district office in Ontario, California. It's February 28, 2018. We would like to meet with the staff, or her, to let her know that we do not support DACA recipient or legislation. See if the door opens. Is it possible to see someone with the staff? Or I know we're walk-ins, but I'm just curious. Uh, just to talk on the topic of DACA slash amnesty. Thank you. Do you mind saying anything? Sure. Estos son gratis, mi hija. Así. Ok. Lee should be here, but I guess she's babysitting. for you to go tomorrow, but if you could get like two other people. You don't think Agnes would be interested? Hi, how, Hi, are, how are, you? are you? Good, thank you. Good. I hear you guys had some questions or concerns? Uh, basically, we just drop by being that the top, like I say, topical issue right now is DACA slash amnesty, and I know uh, Congresswoman Norma Torres fully supports it, and I know I was on her, I think it was her Twitter account that said something like, um, I, we back you, dreamers, or something like that, and okay. that was cause of concern for me, and that is, okay. explains why I'm here, and I'm asking that she not support DACA or Amnesty. I know the likelihood of that is very low, but... Um, I still appreciate you coming in and sharing your... Okay. Your point of view, so I do, I do appreciate that. And I appreciate you telling me that because I could share with you, my maiden name's Garcia. Mm -hmm. My father immigrated here. That means the green card. He had Can I just grab, my pen's not okay. working, and I want to make sure I get your points. Thank you. Ah, I got one. Thank you. <clears throat> I just want to say my father immigrated here, mm -hmm. meaning he had a green card. And then when he went back to Mexico to marry my mom, my mom started the process, and she waited, I, it was less than a year back then, I don't know now, but it's like six, eight months. So they were both immigrants, mm -hmm. and I never saw my parents living in fear because they were immigrants. Mm -hmm. In fact, whenever we would go into Tijuana, I would see them take out the green cards and show it to the immigration official. And that was like the three of us in the back seat, ooh, you know? But that yeah. just grew with that and accepted that. And that, to me, is an immigrant. Mm -hmm. um, okay, okay. No, and I, I appreciate um, your input. So at this point, I know she's in Congress. Uh, it's primarily in the hands of the U.S. Senate, correct? Right, right now? I yeah, believe that's where it's at right now. Yeah, it's dead. Well, right now it's uh, it is yeah they haven't moved forward with anything. I think uh, uh, the jurisdiction, or, I mean the jurisdiction that it falls is uh, within the judicial court right now, okay. um, and so we will be following that closely. I will be sure to share your comments and concerns with our DC and our legislative team. And so again, I really appreciate you guys coming out and 
sharing your concerns and we definitely make sure that uh, our DC team is aware that the, the <coughs> influx of calls. And, and I just want to make just a couple more points and I know sure. we have to go back to your office but I would like to see the end of chain migration Okay. and the end of the visa lottery system and um, you know through the years and I when the economy was very slow and you would hear these haunting reports about corporations laying off engineers and high IT people, people that make good money, they could support their families only so they could bring in what I would say endangered servants under the H-1B visas. I would like to see a drastic reduction, at least for a while, of the H-1B visas. No one can ever turn me being anti-immigrant. I just, we want to see the law the enforcement of our immigration laws. That's it. Okay. That's it. Yeah. I'm not a racist. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm more than happy to relay those messages. So. We all hear echo on her sentiments. Thank you. Thank you. So I will be sure to pass this along. Like I said, that um, big sign she had on her Twitter supporting um, Dreamers. I'd say support American Dreamers, please. Okay, I will relay the message. Hey, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys thank coming you. out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Muchísimas gracias. Igualmente. Oh, I, I'd like to make a comment. Sure, of course. Okay, the, the Grassley bill, the the, uh, the bill that Trump supported. Okay. It has it had uh, DACA amnesty. Mm -hmm. But but the de Democrats said no because. They are not. They will not accept any type of limitation on chain migration. Mm -hmm. And so it was the Democrats that th that threw the DACA uh, people under the bus because Democrats can count. Okay. They they have more to gain by chain migration than amnesty for DACA's, even when they include their parents. Okay. The numbers are still for with chain migration. Okay. I will relay so. your sentiments okay. to the congresswoman. What's your name again, Swinney? Salt. Salt. So, okay. Yes. Just one more thing. Yeah, of course. No problem. You know, when Congresswoman Torres was in the uh, state senate, I think. Yes, ma'am. She uh, supported a bill to help um, our foster children yes. to finish school. You know, that's the kind of um, legislation to help our American kids and this is another reason why I'm against DACA. Okay. Help our American kids or foster kids. That's it. I okay. supported her on that. I know that's Well, thank weird. you. <laughs> I know that's weird. No, no, no. That's, it's a great bill. Foster kids that. need our help. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you for your past support on that bill. Mm -hmm. um, I know it's a proud bill that she, um, she relies on from time to time. And uh, I will most certainly pass on your comments to the congresswoman. Okay. Thank you so thank much. You so I much. appreciate the visit. Thank Take you. care. I appreciate your time. Of course. Thank you. No problem. Thank you.